Good evening. I'm Paula Akana. But the man who championed that project in Washington was not there to see his goals realized. KITV Force Mohelani Richardson is in our nation's capital with how today's ceremony became a tribute to the late Senator Daniel Inoy. This is a big deal. This is huge. This is a dream come true. Federal and Hawaii leaders made it official with a stroke of a pen. Honolulu's rail transit project, the first ever for Hawaii, gets 1.55 billion federal dollars. U.S. Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood, Federal Transit Administrator Peter Rogoff, Hawaii's congressional team, Honolulu's mayor, and members of the city council were all together for the historic signing ceremony. But noticeably absent, Senator Danny Noe, who passed away Monday. An empty seat with a gavel, white flowers, and kukui lei took his place. This transit agreement is a testament to his tireless advocacy on behalf of his state, and its people. Secretary LaHood said it was Irene Hirano who convinced him that officials should still hold today's ceremony and that by doing so would carry on Senator Inouye's legacy. And there was no way that he would have wanted this to be canceled. So I'm very, very happy that we were able to make this happen. In her first public appearance since her husband's death, Mrs. Inouye said the senator was honored to serve the people of Hawaii. I know that he's here in spirit and uh, that he's smiling down on all of us. The senior senator had worked his entire political career pushing for this project. He told me, you know, Ernie, don't let this slip through our hands. You know, this is my third time. Two hundred million federal dollars will be available immediately, and officials say it'll help Oahu's traffic congestion and create jobs. This bill is senator in no way. I mean, it's basically his handprints all over. In Washington, Mahialani Richardson, KITV4 News. Now the city is awaiting for a ruling from a federal judge on a challenge to the project that was filed by several rail opponents, including former Governor Ben Cayetano.